Hello, hello, my friend. Amner Hunter here from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you in another video. This time around, I want to share with you a uh, plugin that was released um, some weeks ago, a free plugin that uh, it's a great alternative to these uh, premium plugins, the uh, Waves Factory Track Spacer, the new Sunnable uh, Pure Unmask, and also the Master in the Mix Fuser plugin all right uh, i want to compare these plugins i want to ch check out some of the features of course test um uh, how they can help you out to uh, unmask or uh, reduce clashing frequencies between two sounds or two instruments all right so um, all of the links are gonna be provided in the video description and first comment uh from from the free free plugin and also the paid ones, all right. The premium, premium plugins. Also, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make sure to put timestamps in case that you want to move around between the mini segments of the video. Before we begin with the content, let me let me invite you quickly to my website, amnerhunter.com, where you can grab some additional freebies, such as some free PDF guides and eBooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out this channel or my blog which i am updating almost every day with uh, tons of content like this please let me know if you are here in the live chat i am always happy and interested to know your opinions uh sound healer and all acoustic thanks a lot you guys for being here as always um <clears throat> alrighty so yeah also make sure to leave a comment box if you uh, missed the live stream okay so let's begin this is the free plugin right the masker uh, it was made uh, by a, a university students uh, in Milano Italy um, so this the masker uh, the latest version 1.2 was released some weeks ago and uh, I think it's a great alternative to these other uh, plugins right i'm gonna explain a bit the um, general controls and features and, and stuff like that okay uh, so let's compare also the prices from the premium plugins right the track spacer it's a yeah legendary well-known plugin at this point uh, everybody knows this plugin it was the first of its kind i think and it's very popular and it works great i love it it costs 59 bucks here at uh, Plugin Boutique, uh, but sometimes there are some discounts and sales here and there throughout the year. So 59 is the the regular price for this dynamic processor. Uh, the company Sonable just released some days ago the Pure uh, Unmask uh, plugin. Uh, this this one is um, the the same purpose, right? Um, prevent uh, frequency clashing frequencies between two instruments and works in a very similar way to the other one and the only thing is that this this one i think uses uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to do the job the other one uh, i believe it doesn't use ai okay so uh, there are several prices here several discounts and sales depending if you want a cross grade or uh a um yeah cross grade from any other sonable products and stuff like that or uh just uh, alone 29 bucks 40 percent off at the moment and uh, actually the price of this plugin regularly is 49 so 10 bucks less than the track spacer at regular price and the other plugin the last one is the fuser by master in the mix released uh, some months ago uh, regular price of this plugin 59 bucks also the same price as a track spacer they are competing of course uh, they are competition and this one works also similarly it only adds a couple of features that um, track spacer doesn't have and uh, yeah at the moment uh, it has um, a, a discount 48 bucks all right so yeah there are free trials of these plugins of course here at plugin boutique you can check them out but uh let's compare it with the free one and let's see if it's 
up to the game of this plugin, right? Plugins. Okay. So now let me I change the screen here to my DAW because uh, we need to try these plugins um, a bit more in depth. Uh, okay. So now you should be seeing um, the plugin here, Track Spacer. I have the four of them uh, here in this track. And let's check out first the the CPU performance of these plugins. Let's compare this. Okay, so all of them are off, and I have this uh, these four plugins on the electric guitar bus, as you see here, number seventeen. So let's turn on first track spacer. Let's see uh, track spacer. Point ten, point eleven percent. Very very lightweight. Very CPU friendly. Let's turn on Pure Unmask by Sonable, 1.12, 1.08, a bit more uh, CPU intensive than Track Spacer, but very, very lightweight as well. It's not that much. And let's check out Fuser. Okay, Fuser is 352. Well, this one goes up uh, 349, 350, around that. Okay, this is the most CPU intensive out of the three premium ones and let's compare it with the, the Masker by uh, Cinemystics. Uh, 296, three, it's lower than Fuser but higher than the Track Spacer and Pure on Mask by Sonable. Okay, so yeah, that that's it with the CPU performance, uh, a rough um, a rough uh, an estimate value right of the cpu performance of course there are more more things that can be measured and stuff like that but this is a rough uh, just to give us an idea of the cpu performance right okay so let's check out some of the general features of these plugins uh, by the way these plugins um, i think you need a bit of time to practice how they are routed uh, or how the tracks are routed in order for the plugins to work. Uh, for instance, you, you need to, to connect two tracks, right? Uh, with a send or with side chain, it's called as well. So you need to put these plugins in the submissive track or the background track, that, the track that, that you want to, to be in the background that's competing with the other one that's going to be the main one. Okay, so for instance, in this case, I have a an electric guitar track and a um, like organ track that they are competing on each other. And in this case, the electric guitar uh, track, it's going to be the submissive and the um, keyboard or organ, it's going to be the uh, priority instrument, right? So, um, you need to to know in your DAW how to do that um, routing, right? The side chain here on Reaper is very simple. Uh, we just drag and drop. Uh, where is it here? We just drag and drop. Very simple. Let me. Okay. This is the function, right? The route. So we just drag and drop this these two um, controls, and we are we are set. And we put the the plugins on the submissive track, right? Uh, for instance, the track spacer has. Let me put. Let me play you the the track without audio. We're gonna hear the audio in a moment. But for instance, uh, uh, the track spacer will give you like um, the the frequency range where they are competing, right? Which is like uh, low mids and uh, in the mid range as well guitars and keyboards. This is the main control, right? Where you increase in order for the this track to be lowered um, and the it's it's gonna compete less with the other. That the frequencies that are clashing here in this this frequency range are gonna be uh, reduced, right? And also we have the we have the range where we want it to work. <clears throat> it can be work from the from 20 hertz to 
till 20k but we can uh, narrow this this range okay with this also we have some other controls such as attack and release to make the algorithm work faster or slower to react quicker to the incoming signal to the sidechain signal right but it's uh, fairly simple and quick to to dial uh, all right so yeah that's the track spacer the pure on mask uh, uses um, machine learning so here you need to uh, select the 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 main track that the one that you want the one that you want to be the the prior pri priority track in this case since the algorithm doesn't have keyboards and, and or organ or something like that i just put on universal and, and it will work i am on the guitar electric guitar track but i am not gonna put electric guitar here here you put the priority track and here the side chain profile that can be heard actually um, if you click this um, headphones icon um, it's gonna be the the elect the the other track okay and this one has one knob only the more you increase this the the more the algorithm works to reduce the clashing of both instruments and here you have the range where you want it to work from and lows and highs you can like make this range wider bigger okay it, it has also resolution low mid and high and the speed of the attack and release to react quicker to the audio right but this one will learn of course will analyze the incoming signal signals and it will make uh, this judgment and you have this control to reduce or um, make the the processing uh, more more intense okay uh, let's check out the fuser which works in a similar way i have it here on electric guitar as well this one also uh, recognizes an incoming signal and also the side chain signal and it it gives you a a part where the frequencies are colliding right and this is the part and you click here resolve conflicts and it gives you the curve to reduce the clashing of the frequencies you can listen only to to the clashing of the frequencies with this triangle with this delta mode that you have here and if we click here and uh, also this plugin has a a um, face matching algorithm if you click in this button it analyzes the loop analyzes the signal and it also changes the face face so that they work better together and uh, yeah so those are the two main controls uh, and also you have attack release you have a mix knob and so yeah it's uh, pretty pretty cool and it works faster as well uh, you're, gonna, you're seeing in yellow and red the conflicting frequencies right like that okay uh, so le finally let's move on to the free plugin the masker by cine mystics this plugin also needs to be here uh, with the side chain okay so here for instance we, we have uh, three three uh, lines here uh, in, the input is in in white the side chain is in orange yellow the the out is in green and the delta this line in pink is the is gonna be the one that lets you know uh, what's reducing in terms of the frequency range right uh, very much like the others it lets you know what portion of the frequency range it's reducing right so here you have the side chain level so the more you increase this the the more uh, signal from the side chain of course uh, you have here a couple of controls for the masked frequencies you can bury masked frequencies right it's burying it or you can reveal meaning the opposite boosting uh, masking frequencies right and in this case we reduce the bury 
and cle clear frequencies we can also vary clear frequencies or reveal uh, clear frequencies I uh, usually leave it there stereo linking is for uh, both channels left and right to work together I leave it at 100% and this cleanup is the more you uh, put this to the left the the more low end it catches the algorithm right it, it goes a bit lower in the frequency spectrum the more you reduce this okay and also this is like a mix control the more you increase this AMT I'm not sure what that means but the more you increase that uh, you have more of that effect okay and if you increase the side chain level well you are gonna have more gain reduction right more gain reduction here because you are of course incrementing the incoming signal that's clashing with the with the sign with the original signal uh, okay or with the priority signal or track okay so I'm gonna put everything to default here and show you guys now some audio examples all right so this is the guitar and keyboards okay let's start with track spacer here so it it already recognizes the clashing okay and the priority track are the the organ is the organ or the keyboards and the submissive track is the guitar so that's why it's reducing the guitar right the frequency range here before after okay and that's the track spacer let's check out the pure on mask I already have it analyzed here 100% it's reducing the guitars right before it's reducing this portion these frequencies in the mid range low mids so that these instruments can um, be combined better It does it in a very clean way and almost to the point that you don't hear uh, a lot of different in the tone as much as the track spacer which changes a lot the tone right this is more like dynamic uh, like dynamic EQ and I think pure unmask uses other type of algorithms and not just that uh, spectral processors maybe something like that and let's check out the fuser which I already have it uh, ready okay so this is the 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 frequency range where they are competing it rotated the face uh, like 34 degrees or something we can like this curve narrow this um, bell curve we can move it right before and after before it 
it's a bit subtle right but you are uh hearing reduced reduced some mid-range frequencies that are competing but it doesn't make it uh as like audible but i think it, it's it's a good thing maybe more mid-range in guitars less mid-range in the guitars so that the organ or keyboard in this case can work better together okay and let's check out the masker here so let's bury the masking frequencies let me put the mix knob here a bit more low frequencies it's working here the the line in pink before after if we increase the side chain level we're gonna reduce To the point where the guitar now uh, it's like thinner way way thinner right all that low mids disappeared or were reduced So yeah, great, great alternative, I think. Let me know what you think of this. Let's check out a, a couple of other examples here. I have a kick drum and a bass guitar that are, you know, hitting at the same time here and there, most of the time. So I have the plugins on the bass track and the, the main track, the priority track is the kick drum. So it's reducing the bass, right? Okay, it's working. Okay, and let's check out the pure unmask here. This bass profile is of the submissive track, right? The sidechain profile is the kick drum, like in the other plugin. Okay, here we have the reduction. In every hit of the kick drum, it's reducing the the frequencies in, that are clashing with the kick drum. You hear how like the bass is being reduced before. Yeah, it works great very very transparent also uh, let's check out the fuser here in the same case there you can hear the bass Also, it's clean, the bass is being reduced. The face was uh, rotated minus 49 degrees. Nice. So let's check out the masker, the free one. 
let's bury the mask the frequencies and clear a bit of the reveal the clear frequencies a bit that's uh we need to go back to the low end here with this cleanup all the way to the left gonna leave at default the clear frequencies only masked frequencies are I am interested in. you see the bass being reduced before there okay We increase the sidechain level, the reduction increases. Sounds a bit unnatural there. All right, that's uh. In this example, let's check out one final example where I like to use these type of plugins when the vocal, when I want to leave a bit more space to the vocal against all of the other instruments with an instrumental track, for instance, so that they can fit better together. So I have this track, uh, I have the instrumental on one track and the clean vocal track in other. Of course, the vocals, uh, the, the vocals are the main, the priority track, and the instrumental is the submissive track. Uh, let's check it out here. Right, it's reducing all of this portion. In my bones. A bit uh, aggressive here, but let's. Yeah, of course, the, the vocal has more space. There are 32 um, dynamic bands here, dynamic EQ working together. And this reduction. Let's check out the pure unmask. You immediately notice the drop in volume of the uh, submissive track, in this case, the instrumental. Sounds way, way unnatural. Very, very clean. Very, very clean. And uh, yeah, yeah, super, super cool. Uh, this one as well. Let's check out the fuser. Okay. Let's do it a bit more wide. Okay. Definitely more space to the vocals as well. And finally, the free one, the masker. Very. Let's 
that's super unnatural, right? Changing the face and everything. That's why the fuser has a face control uh, that works automatically. There are some face issues. Uh, you hear like some flanger, flangerish type of sound. Uh, that's those are face issues uh, that I think um, in some cases can be heard with the masker. But the other ones are very very clean. I think they don't have face issues. Uh, perhaps that's the premium part of the plugin. But this one does work great. The masker. <laughs> And uh, in the other cases, I didn't hear like major face issues, but here on vocals and instrumental. Uh, so finally, let's do a final test here um, of the four of them in line. We can reduce perhaps the mix knob. Alright, so those are the four plugins I have for you today. Three uh, premium ones that work very, very great. And the mask, of course, also works great. Let me know what you think of these plugins. Uh, please let me know your opinions uh, and comments about these plugins. Do you have a favorite out of the four? Uh, what do you think of the free one against the other ones? I am always happy and interested to know your opinions. Um, I have a lot of comments here live. Wow, thanks a lot, you guys, for being here. Uh, this in-depth analysis. <laughs> um, sorry I missed your last live stream, Amner. No worries, Alcoustic. I watched it after. Greedo Kenobi, hello guys, Sun Healer. Would have been nice to also compare Fast Reveal with them. Oh wow, I, I, I don't have that plugin, but yeah, I, I you're right. I missed uh, that the opportunity to to have that one. I love track spacer, says Greedo. Um I uh, I love it as well. Pure on mask seems nice but doesn't have mid-side options, so I'll stick with track spacer for now. Chris says a free track spacer clone is the masker open source and works well. Exactly. That's the one I am checking out here. Super Climas Hermosillo. Saludos desde Hermosillo, Sonora, México. Saludos, Super Climas Hermosillo. Yo también estoy en Hermosillo. Uh, uh, the, uh, Super Climas Hermosillo is uh, in my um, the same time town. I live uh, Hermosillo here in Mexico. Uh, greetings. Um, yeah, I think that's the one that video is about, Chris. Uh, I like the face rotate feature in Fuser. Yeah, that, that one is great. Um, you will never have face issues. Uh, nice for kick bass relations, exactly. Funny that it's called the masker instead of the unmasker. <laughs> All right. Uh, masker looks difficult to set up. Could be more straightforward. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it, it's... Uh, I don't think it's difficult, but it, maybe it's a bit more difficult than the others. But um, I thought it's it's a bit simpler. Maybe confusing that the name of the controls. Um, guitar track should be prioritized since the key since the key pass sound is musically less important. Yeah, I mean it could be. I'm just using an example uh, here, but yeah, sometimes the guitar can be more important. 
prioritize sometimes the keyboards, but in this case, just it was just an example. Uh, bonjour de Puce la France. Bonjour, bonjour. Chateau Dumba Jawe. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, no, track spacer sounds more natural to me in this example anyway. Okay, Grido, thanks a lot for your opinions. Um, this is handy, I have to say. I also like that it has Q tweak option. Try kick and bass, please. Yeah, I, I tried it. Seems to do more in low mid than high mid. And Eric Diaz says, hello, my friend. BC live feed today. That's right, Mark. It seems that it's a, um, a great topic to have sometimes comparisons of plugins right i am thinking in doing more of these uh comparisons between paid ones between free ones i think it's a great topic um and it, it also awakens the conversation i think <laughs> all right guys before we leave let me invite you quickly to my website amnohunter.com where you can grab some additional freebies such as some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players also some free tools such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of room sample packs, among other utilities. Finally, don't forget to check out this channel or my blog, which I am updating almost every day with content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.